serious. Am I the baddest, toughest, toughest. low down in this town? Wrong. He's the show gun of the microphone. Show enough on Wednesday City on the ground.com. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Show enough not in right now. Not in right now. But what I do have, I do have on the phone right now, my man, Nick Friedel. Nick, what it do, man? What's going on, buddy? How are you? I'm doing all right, man. I'm doing all right, man. Now, I know I have you for a few minutes, and I, this is basically what I really want to talk about, sir. What I want to talk about is the Bulls. Bulls, for some reason, are the number one team in the NBA. Don't don't ask me how this happened. It just happened. MVP, maybe. You know, I'm just saying. But I yeah, have... Maybe Derrick Rose had something to do with it. Yeah, a little something to do with it. But help me out, Nick. I don't know why. I have a little nervousness about the Pacers. Am I crazy? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are absolutely crazy. There are, <laughs> there are bigger and better things to worry about, my man, than the Pacers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be let's be honest here. The Pacers are not going to beat the Bulls. It's not going to happen. They may get a game or, or two, although I doubt that. They may get one game. But the Bulls will have no issue with Indiana. They're getting ready for Orlando in the second round, and that is what you should be concerned about today. Okay, cool. Cause I, I, I'm not going to lie, because that last game, they played differently. The, the uh, Indiana Pacers, we blew them out the first three games when Jim, Jim O'Brien was their, was their coach. When Vogel took over, it, they looked like a different team. So that's why I was like, well, maybe they might be able to sneak two games and make a series of this. That's what made me a little nervous. You're telling me I have nothing to worry about, right? You have nothing to worry about. Although I will give you that in seeing the Pacers the last time in that game that you're talking about uh, in the middle of March there, they did look different under Vogel, and they are playing better. But mm-hmm. They just don't have the talent to match up to the Bulls right now. The Bulls are far superior in every way and I think that they are going to have no issue at all in this series. Excellent. And who is ESPN.com did a survey of who is the Bulls kryptonite. Who do you think, they said the Miami Heat, who do you think the Bulls kryptonite will be on the way to the finals? I still think it's the Boston Celtics. But everybody thinks I'm crazy for that because they say the Celtics aren't the same team without Perkins, which I agree with. And okay. the Celtics are old, which I agree with. But feel like the Celtics still have enough to get past Miami because Miami, aside from LeBron and Dwayne Wade, they're still trying to figure out what they're doing and who they are. So you look at it that way and you're like, all right, well, this team is still not where they want to be on the whole. So I think that Boston ends up being the bigger challenge for the Bulls and Bulls feel like they can beat Boston, but that is going to be a, a, a hellacious series. Do you see the Bulls making it to the finals, boss? If I was put my own own money yeah, on if it you, right now, if you're putting your own if you're putting your own money on it, uh, let's just wipe away that you're the insider that this is you know this is the team that you follow all year round that they let you in to their inner circle. Forget all that. Do you see the I, Bulls making it to the finals? I if I were put my own money on it, I would still probably have to go with Miami or Boston. Okay, I'd, I'd still have to go with Miami or Boston. They've been there. I think that. There, there's a lot to be made out of the, the, the experience or lack thereof that the Bulls have, but I, I just think that one of those two teams is going to get the Bulls because they're going to find a way to slow down Derek. Nobody's going to stop Derek because Derek's phenomenal and he'll still find a way to score. But if they slow him down, Bulls don't have that second superstar score right. to take some of the pressure off him. And I think that is what ends up being their kryptonite because they still have Keith Bogans playing at the two, mm-hmm. and he has played a lot better of late. He's a very good defender, but he's not getting you 20 points anytime soon. Right. Kyle Korver can do that, but he's going to give up a lot defensively. Ronnie Brewer is great defensively, but he's not getting you 20 points either. So they don't have that second guy, and I think that is one of the big things that will come back to bite them. If they don't make it. All right, man. Hey, I know you got uh, things to do. I know this is a busy day for you at ESPN.com, and you're probably all over ESPN today. It's about damn time. I wanted to tell everyone at ESPN that Nick Friedel should have been on the TV a whole lot more than he has been this year. I'm just saying. Well, thank you, sir. I, I appreciate it. I'm going to have you uh, intro me everywhere we go. Yeah, I'm now. telling you, man, uh, because they have, they have Ireland on all the damn time. I'm like, okay. <laughs> The Bulls are number one team in the whole. The Bulls get to the finals. That 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 might uh, that might help me out. A little. There we go. Because I'm tired of seeing Ireland. I need you to see. I need to see you against Skip on uh, on first and ten. <laughs> uh, it's it's time, Nick. It is our time. Let's go, baby. We'll see. We'll see. But 
but I will uh, I will talk to you soon, buddy. All right? all right, man. You have a great day. All right, thanks for having me on. And hey, no problem, boss.